All right, guys and girls, this is a tutorial on how to set up and create a page for the yearbook. So first of all, you should know that I am logged in as the advisor, as the teacher. So I probably have some numbers and some announcements up here that you might not have. Um, but everybody has this bar at the top. And what we're going to click on is create. And then we're going to go down to... Um, page ladder. All right, now right now, notice how there are, if I sled all the way down, this is all the pages of our yearbook, all the way down to page 56. Okay, so we have 56 pages in our yearbook. You will be assigned a page with another yearbook staffer. So there's a spot right here that for, it says staff and then staff below it. So there'll be two people working on an entire spread. Two pages together like this when the book is open is called a page spread. So let's, I'm just going to go ahead and click on pages two and three. Okay, so right now you can see that the page is pretty blank. Now, one thing that I highly encourage you to do, especially if you haven't done this before, is to choose a template to help you out. So I'm going to click on designs over here, and then there are all kinds of, of options. Um, and then there's like certain like uh, categories. So like if you have the theme, if you want to start with ambition, you could look at, okay, let's uh, look at some of these templates in student life. Let's say I want to take a look at this one. It says, do you want to retain existing com content in new template. Well, right now my page is blank except for my page numbers, so I'm just going to say yes. All right. So now and it's a little hard to see, so I'm going to actually zoom in. So if I click on view, I can zoom in a little bit. And then sometimes it will actually let you use the controls on your keyboard and hit like control plus sign. Some Sometimes it doesn't work for some reason, but all right. So you can see that right now it's kind of has it oops, set up for me. And all I have to do is click and drag in some images. So I'm going to go ahead to images. We, well, eventually we'll have images all put into these places. But right now, I think what I'm going to do is just grab some, some clip art. Okay, I'm not sure if it actually, oh, there it goes, it does. So images will be like this too. So pretend this isn't like this weird swirly thing. Pretend this is like a picture of Miss um, Gessert. All right, so I'm just going to drag Miss Gessert's image over here, and I'm going to drop it right there. And it should pretty much stick right into place. And that's the beauty of these templates is that everything is already measured out perfectly so that all you have to do is drag and drop. All right. Now let's say I don't really like how this is going. So I'm going to zoom back out. Um, you know, I'm not really liking this template. So I'm actually going to go back to designs. One of my favorites is making a statement. Um, they have ones like specifically for sports and for... I like the student life ones a lot. I'm just going to drag and drop this. Now, I've put a couple things in here. If I wanted to keep those pictures in there, I would say yes, retain existing content. But if I'm like, no, I want to start from scratch, I would hit no. Um, right now, I'll just leave them in there just so you can see what happens. So I'm hitting yes. All right. Looks like it hasn't quite decided where it wants those pictures to go. All right. Well, sometimes it puts them there in the right spot. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, if I don't like what I just did, I can just hit undo. And it should go back to where it was before. So it's it's kind of weird. Um, here, I'll put this one over here. Say no. All right, now I can start from scratch again. Now let's say I don't like any of this. I'm going to get rid of all my pages. Okay, I want it blank. Let's say I want to start to do something from scratch. 
that's okay. However, you have to make sure that things are really lined up. These are the shapes that you can use for putting pictures in. Now in our yearbook, we pretty much stick to to boxes, rectangles, or squares, really let you fit as many pictures as possible. Sometimes you might do another shape, but we don't really do that too much. All right, I'm gonna add a box here. And I'm gonna add another box. I can just kind of drag it around. And I'm gonna add another box. All right, so I'm going to zoom in real close because I want you to see something. The box is set up with, or the page is set up with grids, so you really want these to line up. Notice how um, I'm lining it up so that there is like a one box space between the bottom of this one and the top of these, and I'm also carrying that one space between this box and this box. I'm sorry guys, I keep like pushing my scroll down. So you really want it to set up looking nice. If you want to add, if you want to add um, text, you just use that text box over there. Now it shows up with a bunch of Latin words. Don't worry, you can, you know. Oh, come on, let me delete you. No, that's weird. I have no idea why it's doing that, making you delete a whole bunch of words. But anyways, once I have my words, if I want to change something about them, I go over here to Format. And this is where I can like change the font, I can change the size, I can make it bold, italicized, underlined, I can you know switch what it's lined up to. If I want to overlap some pictures, I can also use this over here, um, arrangement, maybe I want this one in top, maybe I want it underneath, okay, all of those things. You can also add corner rounding to your pictures, 12 point is usually best. You can add a drop shadow, which kind of makes it look 3D, I think that's cool. Okay, so those are the things you can kind of play around with. There are more like advanced things we can do, but that at least will get you started. All right, good luck.